let's talk about the neural regulation how is this regulated like this <laughs> nice right well let me talk about some centers called the respiratory center note this down there are some centers control centers which are referred to as named as respiratory center okay what are they they can they are generally comprised of the medullary respiratory centers and the pons respiratory center noted medullary respiratory center and the pons respiratory center i'll be a bit slow here so that you grasp whatever i'm talking about the regulation so what is this medulla and pons we'll study about this in the upcoming chapters in detail when we talk about brain and all but i'll give you a quick glimpse quick view okay the brain can you see the brain yes let me show you the pons this portion is the pon is the medulla right fine very good now let me zoom into this picture and show what are the regulations and where is the regulatory center respiratory regulatory center see respiratory rhythm center do you see a uh, properly see the location yes it's a specialized center present in the medulla region of the brain present in the medulla region of the brain do you see the respiratory rhythm center yes okay you know this is primarily primarily this is there are other things involved also this is primarily responsible for the regulation of this respiration well now well it involves the inspiratory group and the expiratory group inspiratory group of course inspiration breathing in expiratory group breathing out let's talk about them one by one first let's talk about the inspiratory group this will stimulate the respiratory muscles to contract remember contraction and relaxation you know what about the muscles you remember about the diaphragm dome shape yes the internal external intercostal muscles yes okay stimulates the respiratory muscles to contract during inspiration see here yes that is the inspiratory group so this will signal the muscles to contract so that inspiration can happen okay if i'm inspiring right now this center is helping me do this expiratory group of course the reverse one stimulates muscles for expiration all the changes that is required for the muscles to help in the expiration process that is breathing out will be regulated by the expiratory group used in situations like exercise yes got it well so this is what we are dealing with now let me show a bit more detailed structures so you got the respiratory rhythm center and let me talk about another center the pons respiratory center you see it the pons respiratory center now this comprises of two things two centers rather yes the pneumothoracic center and the apneustic center note this down once more once more the names are a bit difficult it's okay you'll grasp it slowly the pons respiratory center see where they are located it comprises of two centers which are what these the pneumothoracic the pneumothoracic center and the apneustic center clear shall i move on okay next let's see first we'll talk about the apneustic center what are the functions you know this center the apneustic center of the pons respiratory center it what it does is it helps in the long deep breaths so let's do it once more if you keep doing you remember it will help you relate and remember also let's do if you're taking this long deep breath what is coming into action or what is signaling is the apneustic center right it controls the intensity of breathing write it down intensity of the breathing the apneustic center controls the intensity of the breathing it is inhibited it has to be inhibited right or rather it has to be regulated also or else how much air should go in it may cause if i take in more air then it may cause bursting of the alveoli the lungs yes it can happen so it has to be regulated it has to be regulated yes no it is inhibited what is this regulation like if someone is doing something 
it has to be stopped it has to be regulated put under control so the it this process the intensity of this respiration breathing is regulated okay it's inhibited by the stretch receptors the stretch receptors which are present in the pulmonary muscles the stretch receptors that means what does this mean when something is stretching a lot the lungs are stretching a lot when the alveoli is stretching a lot then these receptors will get activated and signal okay stop it enough of it we don't need more air we don't need more of inhalation correct got it yes so the stretch receptors in the pulmonary muscles determine the maximum depth of inspiration how much deeper should we inspire clear okay also the pneumotaxic center that i just have referred to it also controls okay so you know this apneustic center it helps in increasing the tidal volume of course remember tidal volume yes so since it is helping in deep long breaths it is increasing the tidal volume that's about the apneustic center clear next let's talk about the pneumotaxic center don't forget pneumotaxic center also signals here the apneustic center to regulate it let's talk about the the pneumotaxic center well this is another center present in the pons region the pons regulatory or pons respiratory center right this can moderate the respiratory functions moderate the functions of the respiratory rhythm center the pneumotaxic center can regulate the functions of the respiratory rhythm center yes remember so we studied about this let's help let me recall apneustic center long deep breaths so it this the function it helps in increasing the intensity of the it regulates the intensity of the breathing this is the function this functioning is regulated or inhibited by the receptors the stretch receptors which are present in the pulmonary muscles also the pneumotaxic center the pneumotaxic center what it does it it mod moderates the respiration it can control the respiration the function of the respiratory rhythm center it can moderate the respiration process by controlling the function of the respiratory rhythm center very very good now see it can reduce inspiration rate other way round there we talked about apneustic center it increases the inspiration deep long breaths right what is happening here it reduces the inspiration rate neural signals from this center the pneumotaxic center reduces the duration of respiration so you don't take long deep breaths this is going to take control it reduces the duration of the respiration and hence you know if it is control it is able to control the duration of the respiration that means it can control the respiratory rate also clear justified okay now this pneumotaxic center works via the medullary centers fine okay correct now the pneumotaxic center will be able to send signals to inhibit the respiration so that it allows you know controlled fine controlled in the respiration rate it will try to inhibit excessive respiration it will try to control keep a fine control on the respiration rate fine let me talk about some more functions the pneumotaxic center actually signals okay the signals from this pneumotaxic center limits the activity of phrenic nerve we'll study detailed about this phrenic nerve and also inhibits the signals of the apneustic center okay got it so many functions of the pneumotaxic center it's a control it helps in controlling the respiration rate okay prevents deep long respiration okay fine moderate respiration reduces inspiration duration so basically it controls the respiration rate it also signals the signals from this limits the function of the phrenic nerve and the apneustic center clear let's move on great uh can i say it decreases the tidal volume 
of course. The apneustic center was helping in increasing the tidal volume. This helps in decreasing the tidal volume. So now I can relate the apneustic center and this pneumotaxis center together they are able to regulate. Whenever it is I require to do long deep breaths and I'll do it. Whenever you yawn, what do you do? Take deep long breaths. Who is controlling? Apneustic center. Right now I'm, I'm doing normal breath. Who is controlling and preventing that long deep breaths? The pneumotaxic center. Clear? How both help in together regulating the respiration rates. Very good. Now, the pawn center and the rhythm center, correct? So what happens? The rhythm center controls everything. The respiration basically. It The signals from the pawn center here, what will happen? It comes to the rhythm center. The signals from the pawn center will come to the rhythm center. Fine? Okay, very good. Now, the rhythm center via the inspiratory group and the expiratory group, we, we talked about this, right? The inspiratory group is there, the expiratory group is there, which are part of the respiratory rhythm center. So, the signals which are sent by the pawn center will be moving via this, the rhythm center, respiratory rhythm center, which involves the inspiratory and the expiratory group and help in controlling all the muscles which helps in the respiration. So it can regulate, fine? Okay, so I would say the pneumotaxic center, let me write abbreviated as P, pneumotaxic and the apneustic. The pneumotaxic center sends negative signals, negative impulse, and apneustic center sends positive impulse. Clear? Pneumotaxic center sends negative impulse, control. Apneustic center sends positive signals. Okay, positive impulse. That means increase. Got it? Okay, very good. So, yes. Well, a quick over, overview. Okay, see so, yeah, here how the overall neural regulation is happening, pawns and the rhythm center. So, from there, you know, these will be moving, the signals will be moving into the muscles, the external, internal, intercostal muscles. And also, you see, do you see the intercostal muscles? Fine. Here, the diaphragm is also there. So, this will help in the movement of the muscles which will actually result in the breathing process, your respiration.